Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. If you've watched our previous videos about SQL scripting for beginners, you already know how to create several basic queries. Let's dive a little deeper and explore the topic of SQL joins. Imagine that you need to run the query and get a result set containing of data from two or more database tables. For example, it might be several columns from the customer table and invoice table. How can you do this? Well, this is where joins can help you. Joins are used to combine data from multiple tables based on a common field between them. In order to use joins, our tables must contain matching values. In most cases, this is the ID, which we'll use as an example. But you can also use any numeric or string columns if, in your case, the tables intersect on them. Matching values are equal values that have the same meaning in both tables. For example, names of departments in your company can be used in the table with the list of employees and in the table with the company expenses. If you want to combine the data from both of these tables, you can use department names as matching values. Today we'll talk about the simplest and most popular type, the inner join. Let's start with the fact that you can skip typing inner while using the join clause. So from now on, in this video, we'll just use the word join. First, we'll take a look at the structure of a select query with a join. You need to start from the select word and list the columns you need from both tables, or just use the asterisk sign to show all the columns. Then, write the word from and enter the name of the first table. After that, add the join clause and the name of the second table. And the last step is to write the keyword on and column names with matching values through an equal sign. You can use the above schema and see how it works in a real example. We assume that you have already installed the dBeaver community app and created an SQLite database. If you need to learn how to download and install the application, Follow the link in the description, or click on the tooltip on the right-hand side of the screen. Let's look at how the join works in the example of the tables from this database. We'll try to combine data from the customer and invoice tables to get a complete picture of their purchases. These tables contain matching values in the customer ID fields, so we can use them to create a result set with data about the customers and their purchases. How can we do it? We need to write the select query with joins. Select first name, comma, last name, comma, total. From customer. Join invoice. On customer ID equal sign customer ID. If we try to execute such a query, we'll get an error message. What went wrong? The point is that we need to specify the table names before the column names. Let's quickly fix this error. Select customer.firstname, customer.lastname, invoice.total, from customer, join invoice, on invoice.customerid equals customer.customerid. Now, all we have to do is execute the query that we just wrote. As you can see, our task has successfully been completed. We have a result set with data on the invoices and customers, which includes columns from both tables. Good job! In our next videos, we'll show you how to write more complex select queries with joins and how to work with other types of joins. Feel free to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.